All right, I'm Brian. I'm Joey. And Deb's not here today. She's actually behind the camera cheering us on. Glad I get to represent Deb. All right. You'll do a much better job. Yeah. Uh, he brought a special bottle over. What'd you bring? Uh, the Four Roses 135th, uh, one I've really enjoyed, so excited to share it with you. And he wanted to try the Maker's Mark Cellar Age. Uh, we're going to get into it in a second. Find out what this master palletician, I just made up a word, thinks of these bourbons. So we're going to go, we're back, and we're going to go one by one. And Joey reminded me, one of them's not a bourbon. I wonder if he's going to be able to pick that one out. It's going to be tough. You know, oh, she's looking over there. Like yeah, she's she looking. Knows. I know it's on the shelf now. Yeah, yeah. She's duping you. As a Brian did. All right, let's go in with this first one. Yeah. Right? You want you want a nose and sip? We're gonna do. Yeah. Let's do you're the guest. Sip. Guest gets to <laughs> do what he good wants. To me. All right. So now that we are looking at the color and the light. It is, I think, a little bit darker than I thought it was. You know, yeah, especially these, with the light shining. It, it, it is so tough to tell the color of these. Helps for the blind too. I can tell that they're dirty though. Yeah, right off the bat, I would say like apple and then a little bit of vanilla on it are the two first things that I'm getting. I was going to say fruit. And right. behind that, maybe some baking spice, just a little bit, cinnamon. And I'm trying to think as you're saying that, what could that be? Yeah. Now, I have Ooh. a thought in mind. I think it's one that you don't know. Well, don't cheat because you know what they all are. <laughs> hey, that helps me though, right? <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm at right now though. Maybe a little bit of the grain's coming through, but we'll see after the first sip. It usually opens okay. up. Okay. Oh. I want to see if you can pick your own out. Man, more there on the palate than there is on the nose, I would say. I think now that I have it, I think it's a little bit more punchy flavor than I expected it to be. It's, it's got a little little bit of um, little bit of bite to it, you know, a little, little bit of heat. Yeah, I, I mean, mean not, not first pour of the day, too. I don't know right. if you had anything before <laughs> this to open up no. the palate. But. So, you know, while we're drinking this, I remember our first communication was on Facebook, then you joined our texting group. but. Yep. I don't remember the first time we actually met face to face. Was it Attica? Yeah, I, I think it was because you were at Noble Root and I was there and I didn't know it was you and Dad. Uh, yeah. I remember I grabbed the stag and the E.H. Taylor Rye and mm -hmm. you grabbed the four roses and I'm trying to think what else you snagged there. I can't uh, remember. Maybe E.H. Taylor Single Barrel? No, uh, I think a stag. No, it was a stag. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I probably should have grabbed the rye. I'm not so sure the E.H. Taylor Rye. You know, yeah. I hear mixed things on that. I really like it, but as someone who likes rye, I know. Uh, I know that's that's kind of right up my alley. Okay, you like rye. I thought you didn't like rye. I love rye. Oh, okay. Drink rye often. Okay. Yeah. So this, I I think, as I'm sitting here and still letting it kind of uh, kind of hit the palate, I think that the fruit note came through, and I'm still sticking with that apple pear, more of like right. that summer fall type fruit. And I think paired with that baking spice in a really nice way. I think what you said with bite is what I'm perceiving as like those baking spices that are coming through. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. I would say first sip, I'm not getting like crazy complexity from right. it, but uh, something that I think has a good punch that definitely enjoy. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, I think I know what it is, but I'm going to ask you, do you think it's, it's, it's probably definitely not your 135th? I would guess that it's not. Okay. Uh, just because I, I feel that that does have more depth to it. I wouldn't say that what I said on the palate is different, right. but at the same time, you know, I think the depth is, uh, okay. is what I'm questioning there. So, just going by the the darkness is is yours is yours a darker because I know it is. I mean, there's 25 year in the blind. Okay. So this one now that I am holding it up, I know I know you mentioned it here. It's hard to see, but I do see this is a little bit darker than the last one. If I'm if I'm comparing, it's so tough. Not. Yeah, I would say that's that's darker for sure. Now this one for me. I'm getting like, like almost borderline a little bit of marshmallow with the vanilla. Okay. Like a fluffy marshmallow underneath, maybe even a little bit of floral notes to it. Like a floral herbal note. And then with that, again, the fruit, I think we're probably going to get, as these are all LEs, like you said, or at least expensive bottles. Right. I would imagine that fruit note's probably going to come out more than once. So it's interesting. But I think there's oak there too, definitely more than the first one. Which one you like better, the first one or the second one? This one's good. <laughs> this one for me is is jumping out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to say that I like this one 
better than this one so yeah. far. And you know, as we drink these though, you're, you're just drinking so much that your your palate's going to be like. Yeah. Well, then you go back then. Kind of. Yeah, that's why I'm not trying to kill it. Yeah, trying yeah, to take yeah, a small no, sip, no. go back to it. But this one for me, oak, daft of oak, it's sweet. And I think that uh, those fruit and floral notes stay there through the palate for me on okay. that one completely. I'm just going to I'm just gonna push this one out. Like, I'm going to say I like for this, this yeah. one. For, for now. I like Right, for now. So these two are darker, and I think I don't know which one's which, but yeah. I think... I know out of the four which two they are. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I know nothing. If we <laughs> learn anything, we can be completely wrong. <laughs> Remember, one of them's finished, I told well, you. That's a fun thing so with you fire. would assume that one of these darker ones is finished. Yeah. Right. If we're saying nose right now, there's the most on this nose, man. Would you agree with that? This one has a lot of brown sugar and caramel on the nose. Very sweet. It's the sweetest nose. Um, I do like that this one has a little more oak on the nose, just as I'm comparing noses so far. But nice. this one, this one's jumping out, jumping out the most, I think, out of the glass. That's one of the two, man. Okay. So, wow. like to me, that's a little sweeter than those two. Hundred percent. And 100%. and that's kind of like up my alley here. Yeah. It's so. interesting. This one sticks to the nose. Punchy flavors again. I think that are coming out. But this. This is very well rounded. I'm interested to go back when we go back right. through and try them side by side. Um, but man, there's a lot of sweetness on that. And I would say the oak is not coming through as much as this one. So it's interesting. I'm, I'm sticking with the caramel and, and brown sugar, maybe even borderline butterscotch and vanilla frosting there. It's, it's you, bold. You like oak? You like a lot of oak? I think my oak threshold where I want to be is like the 10 to 13, 14 year range. Right. Like. I, I'm sorry. No, I, I was just going to say, I think when you when you get up to those, like, for example, your Elijah Craig 18 up there, right. or Knob Creek 18, right. for me, it pushes it a little too far for me, where it's like, am I drinking an old dusty baseball yeah. club? But, 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 they, but they water it down so much, Yeah. right? I, I don't like the oakiness when it, it dries out my tongue. Yeah, exactly. And, and, then that, and then that just totally screws me up. So here's the deal. He, um, if he picks his bottle in fourth, he's going to sell it to me for 50 bucks. <laughs> I'll be losing 150 bucks. That's not what I you got it. You got it dirt cheap. Yeah, I did. Look at this one. Nice one. Also dark. I I agree with you. These last two, I would say, are the darkest. She's good. This one is is mild comparatively speaking to these two. I think it's more along the lines from uh, jumping out the glass to the first one. More so than the first one. You think? I think these two are very similar when it comes to like what you're getting from the nose. Um, these two, I think, have a little bit more going on where I can sit here and dissect it for as long as I right. want to, you know. See, I don't like these little ones either because I don't get the swirl as yeah. much and I don't get the um, uh, aroma coming from the glass as much. That's just me. Yeah, this one's cinnamon, baking spice. I, I get a little bit of grape there too. It's, it's definitely on, I would say, the darker side, comparatively speaking. I'm okay, this is. I'm gonna say something. Edit it out if I'm wrong. Okay, okay. This kind of tastes like a bean product to me right now, to be honest with you. I get a little bit of faint nuttiness and a lot of baking spice on it. Okay, I do get the I do get the nuttiness from you. Oh. <laughs> I is nutty. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit crazy. Uh, no, but I I do. And at first when I'm drinking this, I'm like, eh, not a whole lot. But then I do get that um, the flavors that you were talking about. Now the finish. It could be a Heaven Hill product, too. We, I tend we to paid get... more for this one than your Four Roses. Wow. Interesting. Duped. <laughs> I, 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 I actually kind of like that one. Yeah. It, it, you know what's interesting for me is I, I really like what's going on here. Right. When I think about what I like from a profile perspective, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go back. But these two are more up my alley. Okay. Of where I think I, I'm in my wheelhouse for. Okay. This is great whiskey, but at the same time, I would say a little bit darker, less of that like fruit that I tend to enjoy. Lee. So a little bit of that citrus, like a lemon, orange, and uh, followed by those spice. But I'm gonna go back to this one, give it a give it a second sip. Yeah, when you're ready for the the name. So, you know, it's interesting, you know, what we would gravitate towards. Like for some reason 
I don't know why I'm kind of gravitating towards the darker one. Yeah. Right. I, and and you know, it, and it's not to say that's better or or not as good, just because you know you might place that third. Yeah. Right. I mean, because they're all great. I'm not sure yet that I would place it third because that second sip was really damn good. <laughs> um, I think the nuttiness kind of pushed to the back end, of course, as I'm saying that I don't get any of the, that citrus note there. Okay. A little bit starting to like pop up with the baking spice, the nuttiness, and uh, maybe even, I, I would get her to say maybe even a little bit of dark chocolate in there too. So, all right. So we can go through these again and we'll just, you know, cut to the chase. I will guess. Yes. You I were know. saying that the one all the way on the, all right. You yeah, so which which makes sense because how dark it is. You were saying that was the Joseph Magnus. I do have my guesses, and it's interesting. I have had this once before at a bar. Okay, um, I've only tried it once. Like I said, in a setting where you're maybe not dissecting it a ton, but I'm going to say that this is Joseph Magnus cigar one. Okay, That's my guess on that. So let's do this. Let's go with his fourth place, though. All right. So both of our fourth place. Right. Which is B. And what do you think it is? If I, if I had to guess, I, I would say it was the Fountain North. Brian? Okay. Uh, I'm not guessing. I'm terrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll go with Joey. Four roses! Wow! That <laughs> was your last. Damn. And the phone rings. I gotta sell it to you for 50 bucks. I was actually gonna say that, but I didn't want to be a hater. Let me take one sip of this quick, just to confirm. He's selling me this for 50 bucks. because <laughs> These were all good, though, right? Oh, and, and he got a really good deal. He, he probably got it like $75, $100 under what you would normally pay. pay yeah, 200 bucks. And, you know, right now it's sitting on secondary for, what, 550 $600? Yeah, so, it's pretty crazy. But, no, this is good. Uh, it's interesting. This is, this it, now, that it's, now that I'm drinking it. Now that you know what it is. Yeah, right? absolutely. But it's crazy. And, 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 and that's why I like blinds, but I hate mm -hmm. them. Sometimes I just like to sit down, have a glass, mm -hmm. enjoy it, not worry about what the hell you're drinking. Because this is, it's great. I, yeah. Like we, we said, like I said on, you know, when you turned it back on, all right. these are good. Right. But I still, now that I'm even drinking it, it's not as good as those other three. Yeah. <laughs> okay, your third one was, what, number eight? Your third was A? My, no, my, my third was D. Okay. Which is Brian's. Oh, yeah, and I'm looking at Brian's. Brian's and that, winner. And that, and, and that might be, since it's got all those crazy flavors. Is it Joseph Vegas Cigar Blanc? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I knew that one. All right. The so first. there we go. A redeemer. Hey, good for you. You said you overpaid for it, right? <laughs> oh, my God. I paid way too much money. When I saw it yeah. at Attica for like, they had it for, what they have it for? Like 200 or something? Yeah. I'm like, son of a bitch. I should have got it there. That, that lets you know how much it's I overpaid for it. 113. What's nice is when you buy one of these, I don't know if you have one. That's a store pick, though, isn't I it? Don't have one. On the side, you have Nancy Fraley's tasting notes on there. Yeah, you know what's interesting? Did you know that Nancy Fraley is the master blender at Still Austin? She's like everywhere. Oh, I know. Goodness. I have a pick from her from Still Austin, which is really interesting. So I'm glad to know that I, I headshotted that that was a finished whiskey. I feel good about that. I'm glad about that. All right. Okay, Joey, your first one was A? Uh, no, my first one was C. Is it the seller age? Give oh, me the... no, no, we're back to the second one. The second okay. one is A. Okay, yeah, yeah, A, which is Brian's third. Found North. Found North. Okay, okay, all right. So? So that's my second place. So Maker's Mark seller age is number one. And I, I knew it was a seller age. I and, guessed it. And I that, told and, then, and that's my what? Your second one. Okay, yep. all right. I'm surprised yeah, Found bad. North did as... As well as it did? Yeah. Hey, it beat, beat this guy here. They were all close. I, yeah. I'm a sucker for finished whiskeys, though. Yeah. Right. And I'm not a finished whiskey guy, so maybe that's the difference. I like the silver edge too. I was glad we got that. There you go. <laughs> wow, this is my first place by leaps and bounds. So when you were like, oh, it's so sweet, and everything, I'm like, oh, it doesn't like it sweet. Um, no, I do like it sweet. I do too. Man, good that is, job. So, so we got a couple video. cigar. Bones, Smash right? the like button. Leave a comment below, <laughs> and subscribe to our station.